hey y'all ariel here welcome back to my channel so i gotta do my makeup i actually have to do an outro to this hair and it's nice and honey blonde and i'm feeling like doing like an emerald type of green today something super cute just to give the wig an extra little boost a little pop so we're gonna do green and gold today um this is gonna be like a fall inspired type look i guess Anyways, let's get into the video because I'm rambling. Get your makeup brushes, get your makeup tools, your products, all of that. Wash your face, do your brows because I'm about to do my brows and let's get into this makeup tutorial. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be a part of the family. Come on, join. Come on. Yeah, you're a part of the family now. You're so, you're sis. And if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, yeah let's beat this okay y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows y'all know how this goes i'm using my got to be my brown pencil and we're gonna put powder and everything on the brows i am running low on my laura mercier so i'm gonna use a different powder today and see how it goes i want to make sure that this got to be gel actually dries down completely before i apply the new powder because I don't know how it's gonna take the got to be gel so we're just gonna brush it through just like this boom boom it's currently what time is it it's currently 754 so if I'm done by at least nine o'clock nine thirty I'll be good to go because I actually want to do like a Halloween look as well so fun fact whenever I'm recording videos y'all sometimes I can record two videos a day sometimes I can record three videos in one day so sometimes if it looked like okay she just had that shirt on or oh she wearing that same robe I do like batch content sometimes just to be smart I work smart and not hard especially if I have like an everyday beat on and I know for a fact I have like hair promos to do or anything in specific that I have to do um, as far as my social media work. I'll go ahead and try to film um, in batches and clumps so it'll make it easier. But yeah, y'all ain't even asked me for that but I felt like I needed to tell y'all because I don't want y'all to think that I ain't got no clothes and stuff, okay? Even though it don't matter. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I do batch content and things like that. I had to go and get my nails done over y'all because it was time. Something quick and simple. I don't keep, I don't plan to keep these on for too, too long. Maybe like a month. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get some longer nails. But I don't know, I like shorter nails because like I, I wear contacts and stuff. So it just makes it easier. And y'all know I do these wig reviews and stuff. So I can't do too, too much because... I don't want my nails to be popping all over the place and stuff. That's neither here nor there. I'm going to let this dry down because I'm just talking y'all head off, okay? But I love y'all and y'all love me too, okay? We just talking, that's it. <laughs> but I'm going to let this dry down and come back and we're going to put some powder on the brows. This hair is giving, okay? Hair tutorial should be out. If it's not, it's coming up, okay? Yeah. This hair is so freaking pretty. Like what? So pretty on the melanin this color right here is my color this I feel like I can match all colors like red looks really good on my melanin this color looks really good on my melanin blonde looks good on the melanin like we can't go wrong I'm just saying yeah okay y'all so I'm gonna take the Maybelline fit me in the shade number five it's super duper bright but I'm gonna use it I actually picked this up for some Halloween makeup looks I'm gonna do but we're gonna see how this looks on the brows focus i hate when my camera just doesn't focus on me focus on me baby can you focus camera can you focus on me thank you me okay y'all so i'm gonna take this powder and we're gonna go ahead and push this in the brows okay 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 For my eyebrows, what pencil do I want to take? 
I don't want my brows to be too, too dark today. So I'm gonna use a light hand. I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses, the auto lip liner pencil. Y'all know this is my go-to, honey, okay? And this is the shade Dark Brown. And we're just gonna go in and sketch. I need me a, where's my mirror? I need my mirror. Oh, here you go. Okay. Let's get this party started. And I'm just gonna do light strokes. And I like to elongate my brows for the most part. I feel like whenever I apply that powder, it just helps to sketch the brows a little bit more. And then I'm gonna lightly fill them in towards the tail part in the middle without touching the front. Just like that. Boom. So I'm gonna do it again. Now to clean the brows up, I'm gonna take my Thread Beauty Concealer in the shade number eight. It's medium warm brown. This is one of my favorite concealers to use. Like, it's so affordable, but it's a really, really good product. Like, a little bit goes a long way. It's nice, rich, and creamy. Okay, so to clean my brows up, I'm gonna take this Japanese, Japanese, I don't know y'all, I'm just butchering, but it's a concealer slash blend, a conceal, what? It's a conceal slash blend brush. And we're just gonna blend this out. I already used this brush prior to doing this tutorial, but I only used it once, so it's still pretty much clean. Okay y'all, so now I'm gonna take some coconut oil and moisturize my face. This is optional. You don't have to use coconut oil, but this is an oldie but goodie. I always use coconut oil and I never had any problems. My pores does not clog up, no nothing. And I feel like my skin is pretty decent for the most part. I never had any issues with coconut oil and y'all know I wear makeup a lot, so. My skin is pretty good for the most part. If anything, I feel like my skin has gotten so much better since like doing my little skincare routine and things like that. I kind of fell off of it for a little while. It's been over a month, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I still use the same products, but I'm not consistent with those products. But my skin is really, really good to say that I'm always quote unquote wearing makeup. I take care of my skin, but um, but yeah, coconut oil is like one of my best products. Like, it just gets the job done. It keeps my face nice and moisturized and everything. And it just helps to glide my makeup. Again, you don't have to use all the products that I'm using. But this is what works for me, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take the Thread Beauty Concealer and just clean up the brow. This concealer is so freaking creamy, like, I absolutely love it. And she gets the job done. $8, you cannot beat that at all. Boom. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. The brows are giving, honey. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit before I 
completely blend it out, but let me make sure I blend out the front portion. Okay. Yeah, the brows are eating. The brows, they are giving, okay. And I do have some paper towel beside me, y'all. And I'm gonna dry this brush down because sometimes your brush can get too much product and then it adds additional product and just disrupt like what you laid down. So just clean your brush off and dry the hairs, the bristles. Just like that, I got off um, most of the product. And then you can go right back in and blend some more. And in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of my face. I'm gonna take the Kills Facial Cream and moisturize with this. And then I'm also gonna take this um, NYX Freezy Primer. This has become my favorite, y'all. Like, it's so, so good. So I'm gonna take the Kills first. Just like a dime size amount and put it on top of the coconut oil these two together is going to give like a smooth surface to your face and you don't need that much a little bit goes a long way i'm not really focusing or worried about my um forehead because your forehead kind of be in the background like you ain't got to worry about doing all that extra stuff it's everything underneath your eyes that I feel plays the biggest part in how your face, um, your makeup application turns out. At least your makeup base. This is basically gonna make your makeup base pop. So now we're gonna take the NYX Freezy. The same thing, we're using a dime size amount. I'll say a dime size and a half amount. And we're gonna just blend this into the skin. And you know it's working when it has that cooling sensation. And we're just gonna put it all over, just like this. Yeah, I'm trying to debate if I wanna do my shadow first or do my base first. Um, I don't know, I might do my, my shadow first. I don't know, but my face feels so cool. Like it's cool and chilly. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna take the extra concealer and put it on my lid. And this is gonna act as the eyeshadow base. So I guess I'm gonna do my shadow first, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna take the Beauty Bay Fiery 2.0 eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take a brown shade from out of this palette. This palette will forever be one of my favorites. I feel like this is just screaming fall. And why not? I'm hitting pan on this color. As you can see, this is like one of my favorite shades. But I'm gonna take this shade right here and I might take this shade right here and use it as my transition color. I am Morphe, this is a M573 brush and I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade first, which is Brunette. And we're gonna go ahead and use this as our transition color. So let's go ahead and tap, tap, tap. Pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. And we're just gonna build this color up, but this is our transition because the green is kind of on the darker side. But I think I wanna add like a, a shimmer, like a emerald shimmer green. So just give it that extra pop in the inner tear duct area. But as you can see, we're just gonna, this is gonna basically tie those shadows together without the green looking too bold and too harsh. This is just gonna help it have that gradient effect. Acorn, which is a darker brown. And we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna stamp the darker brown right here 
right underneath the lighter brown. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to actually take the shade Wood down here, this dark, dark, dark brown color, and I'm going to um, put this on the edges. I'm going to put this darker shade on the edges right here. Because I am doing a green look, I'm gonna take this P. Louise base. It's the paint. Well, this is the um, eyeshadow base. This is the shade Juicy Jungle. I hope I'm saying that right. I think it's Juicy Jungle. Yeah, Juicy Jungle, and I'm gonna put this all over the lid. So we're gonna put this all over the lid, just a little bit. And this is gonna be the base for the eyeshadow. Boom. This is gonna also help it to like have that pigment. And then I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush and blend this out. All right, so we have the base down. So excited, y'all. I love makeup. Like, makeup, I wanna be makeup when I grow up, literally. I'm gonna take the Airy Winkle, the Fruity Cutie Palette, per usual. And I'm gonna take avocado. Am I gonna take avocado? Yes, I'm gonna take avocado and cucumber. These two green shades right here. And we're gonna go in and stamp these on the lid. Super cute. I think I'm gonna take cucumber first because it's the lightest. And I'm taking that same brush that I use for the base. And I'm literally just gonna tap this all over the lid. Boom. And then I'll put avocado on the edges, like the end part. And once I add that shimmer, it's just gonna give it that elegant um that I'm looking for because I don't want this to be too too bold but I also want it to be wearable so where like if you wanted to wear this out this is a fall inspired look and I think I'm gonna do like a nice nude lip with this if y'all see me looking down <laughs> I'm actually recording for TikTok as well I try to multitask that's so pretty my forehead looks so weird <laughs> It looks so crazy, but trust the process. And then I'm gonna take some more of the brown and we're gonna clean this up. So this is more so like a smoky green brown type of look. So boom, we have this. And I feel like this is all I wanna do for my eyes. I don't wanna do too, too much and just ruin the look. So I'm gonna let this be. And we're gonna do the wing and everything like that. I'm, a wing is calling my name with this look. I actually use my Sephora eyeliner. I'm gonna take the Vivid Net from NYX. I know it's not new anymore, but I was like, you know what? It's time for me to actually try it out. So before I do that, I'm gonna actually clean up um, the end part of where my shadow is just to give it a cleaner look. Hopefully I do not regret this. But we're gonna do it anyways. I just want it to look a little more uniform and softer. So I'm gonna take that Maybelline powder in the shade Fair one more time. And we're just gonna clean it up. Boom, just like that. All right, so now for foundation, I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario. This is shade 25W. And we're gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm doing two pumps. I know I'm not gonna need the entire two pumps, but I'm gonna use it anyways. 
And we're gonna put this foundation all over the face. I'm putting it on my forehead today because I want like a full face. And I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap swiping on swiping, and literally just place the foundation where I want it to lay. That way, if it dries down, it's drying down the correct way instead of me just having like a dot like that and then it dries down before I can get to it, it's gonna already be in place. And plus, I want the foundation to kind of warm up to actually, you know, do what I need it to do. So yeah, I like to use my fingers most times because it just, I don't know, it just gets the job done. And plus, your fingers are warm. It's just gonna help activate the foundation to move like how you want it to move. Make sure you have some makeup wipes as well, y'all, beside you because makeup can get a little messy, okay? And I'm just gonna let the foundation do what it wanna do. In the meantime, between time, I need to find a brush. I think I'm gonna just use this brush because it's dirty, but it's not dirty. I only used it once. When it comes down to my makeup, y'all already know I do not like washing my brushes and stuff like that. So this isn't dirty. I only used it once, okay? <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and blend my forehead out. So we're gonna tap, 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 pet, 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 swipe or no swiping. I like to go a shade darker, but I feel like right now this is my perfect match. And yeah, I like to go darker anyways, because y'all know I like a bright under eye. I love like the lifted effect that concealer gives me, especially because I have a round face. I give myself surgery basically on the face. Boom. Boom. And then if I need to, I go in with a smaller brush to get around like my edges and stuff. I know a lot of people don't like the glued down edges, but I love them, okay? Some people like the fluffy, but I feel like the fluffy just doesn't look right on me. I had to turn my ring light down. Sometimes I feel like my ring light be too, too bright to where it washes me out. But this is manageable because like the light reflects on my mirrors and my, um, my tracker. What is it called? Not a tracker. My, um, what is it called y'all? Um, my monitor my monitor and so sometimes like I just be looking extra washed out but I feel like this light the the level of how high I got it I feel like this is pretty decent so I think I'm gonna keep it like this that way y'all can really see me because sometimes it can make me look too washed out and then sometimes it makes me look as if like I don't know how I'm blending my foundation and things like that and it's not hurting my eyes. Like I can enjoy and take my time doing my makeup without feeling like I gotta rush because the lights are too, too hot. This is, this is a good temperature. Well, I got my foundation on. We're gonna let this sit and do what it's gonna do. In the meantime, between time, I'm gonna go ahead and find me some eyelashes to put on and get ready to do my wing, my concealer, all of the fun stuff. I said the next time I did a makeup tutorial, I was gonna actually stack some of my Airy Winkle lashes. I have Skip To My Lou in front of me and I also have Vivacious. So I wonder how this would look if I was to stack both of these lashes together. I don't want it to be too, too fluffy, but I feel like it would be really, really pretty. Let's just see. I'm gonna stack both of them. I got Vivacious at the bottom and skip to my Lou at the top. It might be too, too bold, y'all. I don't know. That's both of them together. I feel like that's too bold. Let me see. That's too bold for what I'm trying to do today, so. Um, mm -mm. I feel like I gotta do that with some 1B, like a natural black color hairstyle. I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not. So yeah, we're gonna wait and do that another time because I don't want the lashes to take away from the eyeshadow, 
But now I gotta decide which one I wanna wear. Should I wear Skip To My Lou or Vivacious? And Skip To My Lou has been my go-to for the past couple of days. So this is Skip To My Lou. They look so similar but different. Skip To My Lou has like the, the long short, long short, long short pattern. And then Vivacious is more so all long, but still kind of like sparse in some areas let's see this is vivacious i feel like i'm gonna gravitate towards vivacious watch i can't really tell until i put my wing on oh it's not sticking let me try the other one Something is telling me to do skip to my Lou because she's still giving flirty without doing too, too much. I'm gonna do skip. We're gonna do skip to my Lou. Sorry, vivacious. We're gonna put you, we're gonna, we're gonna put you on in the next go round. Okay, let me put you back in your box. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break because I feel like my foundation still needs to like seep through and sit a little second. Yeah, we're gonna let her do her big one. And then I'm gonna come back. Okay, y'all, so I feel like the smarter thing for me to do is to go ahead and take my dual lash glue and put it on my eyelashes so they can get nice and tacky while I get prepared to do my wing and everything like dots. Can Okay, hey y'all, so I'm gonna take the Thread Beauty number eight again and put it right underneath the eyes. This is my favorite part of doing my makeup because it's like I'm performing surgery on my face. And it's just gonna snatch and lift me up. Okay. Period. And then I'm gonna take my puffer and we're gonna blend this out just like this, ever so slightly. Tap, 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 pat, pat, pat. Swipe or no swiping. I like to blend out the edges first. Boom. Same thing for this side. Tap, 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 pat, pat, pat. Swiper, no swiping. And we're gonna blow it out. Mm -hmm. And now we can go back and focus on the inner portion. Just like this. Tap, tap. Pat, pat. Swipe or no swiping. My face still looks incomplete. So we gotta kick it up a notch. And now, this is where the magic happens. Like, I don't know. It's just something about doing this step that just gets me going. Okay, I love concealer, y'all. I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill concealer in the shade medium tan golden and do three dots of this concealer. That's definitely for Ariel. <laughs> That's for honey. Well, three and four. And we're gonna go ahead and tap this out. This concealer dries super duper quick. So I'm gonna move really, really fast. And I think I'm gonna do a second layer of this concealer because it dries fast and matte, but it's a little on the thin side to me. It's not thick, thick, thick coverage. Boom. Tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper. No swiping, and we're gonna bring this out. It's up to you if you want to stop right there, but y'all know I'm extra, so I'm gonna take Fair Rose, also from Jaclyn Hill, and now I'm just gonna put this dot. I'm gonna do two dots of this. I'll do three. Look at me now being extra. <laughs> y'all know I'm extra when it comes down to my makeup. 
and then we're just gonna tap it out. And I'm gonna make sure to kind of let this one stay towards the tear duct area in the front. I don't want this to be all the way over here because it's gonna give me ghost face. But if you're a beginner, I don't recommend that you do this, okay? Baby steps at a time. Go one to two shades lighter, but this right here is going over. But I've been doing my makeup for a little second, y'all. It's been a couple of years, okay? So I know a little thing. I know a little thing or two, okay? I look so crazy right now. But trust the process. I'm going to take this little dot and put it right here on my nose. And use my finger to drag it down. And then I'm going to do it again. Tap. Drag it down. And it's just gonna give me that pinch. Like, I like how SZA nose be looking. And that's really what I was trying to do, okay? Cause SZA is my girl. And I was just gonna blend the edges. Just like that. Boom. Take that puffer again. Blend it out again. And now it's time to set this in place. Okay, so I'm gonna take some press powders first what shade do i want to use i'm going to use 330 and 332 from maybelline y'all of course lightest to darkest so we're going to use 330 first and this brush is dirty but it's not dirty we're going to use it again honey. okay so i'm going to make sure everything is blended out we don't want any creasing. Always make sure you blend out before locking your creams in place with your powders. Tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. And I'm putting this all on my concealed areas using that brighter shade first. Then underneath, I'm gonna take the darker shade. And we're just using a slight bit we just want to make sure that we lock the concealer area in place before using a powder this is definitely the beginner friendly type ordeal because pressed powders are so much easier than loose powders if you wanted to just use pressed powder you can or if you're going to be like me and be extra and get that smooth filtered look going with a loose powder on top of your pressed powder don't say i ain't put you on okay I've been doing this for forever, okay? And it just works like the pressed powder is gonna lock everything in place for you, but then when you put your loose powder on, that's when you get that filter effect. So everything is pretty much locked in, but now we're gonna add a little razzle dazzle. We're gonna add the decoration to our under eye basically. Okay, so I feel like I haven't used her in a while, so I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This powder right here is so slept on, y'all. Like, nobody talks about this. And this is in the shade Deep Peach. Nobody ever talks about this powder. And I'm like, y'all, okay. Sleep on it if you want to. And it lasts so long because it's so big. And I feel like it's an affordable price because this powder has lasted me so, so, so long. Like, this is definitely one of my favorite powders. We're just gonna press it into our under eye so look at the difference me pressing it in just like that and then look at this one we don't want it to stay like this so you want to make sure that you're pressing that powder in do not be afraid we don't want it to look patchy you want everything to look nice and seamless so make sure that you're pressing because it's going to give you that filter effect we're just dressing up our under eye even though we locked it in place now we're really gonna like give it that blah blah boom you know and don't worry I am gonna go in and put some powder on my nose area you want to make sure that you lock every area that you apply concealer and even though I did not apply concealer to my chin we're gonna give that illusion as if we did 
boom and this right here is just gonna set my foundation area right here in place but it's also gonna give me that highlighted effect and whatever's left on my puffer I'm gonna put it above where my cupid's bow is I'm gonna put it above the lip okay so right about now I know I look crazy okay but again you gotta trust the process so we're gonna stop with actually baking and we're gonna set the foundation areas in place well I didn't technically bake I just set but the next step is gonna be for me to bake and we're gonna bake with a lighter um, powder and we're gonna use a more yellow powder as well so to lock my foundation area in place I'm gonna take almond slash chestnut from Beauty Bakery we're gonna use this powder and take that same brush we use for foundation whatever is in the lid is all we're going to use because you don't need that much dust it off and we're going to tap 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 pat 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 swiping no swiping and also lock our foundation area in place with a powder that matches my melanin boom and then i'm also going to go on top of where i placed the abh boom tap 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 pet 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 swiper no swiping and I'm also gonna put it on my forehead not too much just a little bit because I don't mind my face looking a little shiny boom I don't want my face to be too too matte I like for it to look kind of not dewy but not matte in between that's the look I be going for. We'll put a little bit on the bridge right here. Y'all, I want to use my, my Laura Mercier so bad, but I feel like I need to wait. I, I need to try new products. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline again. This is very, very bright of a powder, okay? So hopefully this does not disrupt anything. I'm going to put it on my nose. So I'm just going to turn the puffer tap away the extra and we're gonna go ahead and let this kind of bake on the nose and I'm applying powder twice Boom. hopefully I don't look crazy <laughs> once all of this is done but yeah if it looks crazy, I'm just going to go back in with the brush that we use foundation for and make it look okay. So I'm also going to take that powder, press it out to blend it out. And we're going to basically bake underneath our eyes. I'm going to press it in first and then add a little bit more. Why am I afraid? I don't know. This is my first time actually using this powder in this bright of a shade so I want to be careful to not give my face that ghost like effect because uh -uh. I'm gonna go on top of that powder and add it right here and we're just gonna let it do not disappoint me powder please don't okay i want my makeup to look really really pretty today okay y'all so the yellow tone is going to be kunafa from huda beauty i'm actually going to go and buy a more natural tone powder and a lighter tone powder like a translucent like the translucent honey i want to try it just to see because this formula is so freaking good like this powder is amazing so we're going to take this yellow tone and put it right here. I feel like I want to blend this one out. Yeah, let's just blend this one out. And then I'll use my foundation brush to blend this little area right here out. And put a little bit on the tip of my nose and right here. We're going to eat the face up. We're going to give it to the girls, okay? We're going to give it to them, Ariel. We're going to give it to them. Every time we're going to give. Every single time I give, okay? Okay, so we're going to do the wing. I'm going to take the Vivid Matte from NYX. 
and do the wing. Okay, I be having to hold my breath whenever I do my wings, y'all, because one set of move. Look around everybody on mute. Okay. Cause I'ma cry if I mess these wings up. I'm just saying. Okay, Nix, I see what you did there. Like, I'm not mad at you because it's definitely giving. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one alone. And just in case I need to add more, I will, but I'm gonna let it dry down first. Same thing for this eye. I'm gonna take my mascara and go ahead and coat the lashes. I'm also gonna add black liner to my lower lash line. And we're gonna dust this powder off as well because we're looking real crazy. Period. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the rest of this out. Press, 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 press. Mm. Oh, I'm looking so ashy. Now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and we're gonna blend this out. Okay, y'all, so before I cry, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. Again, we are using Skip to my Lou. All right. Cause my face looks super ashy. Let me stop being dramatic, okay? Oh, that tacky day. Yes, sir. Come on. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place bronzer. I'm gonna chisel the face. Yeah, I know I got a round face, so we gotta. Okay. You gotta snatch her up. I'll go ahead and put it on my nose. And then for blush, I'm gonna take volume four from Juvia's Place as well. Using both shades and we're gonna, boom. Okay, y'all, so because I'm a little scared and I do not want to look ashy, I'm going to take my trusty, I can always depend on this powder. This is number 35 from Maybelline. And we're going to put a little bit, just to calm it down, just ever so slightly, because I'm scared that I'll look casket sharp ready if I don't do this. take a black liner and put it on my lower lash line just to give me a more fierce look All right, and then I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Mascara and coat the lower lashes as well as my falsies. Now, to add some highlight on the tip of my nose, I'm gonna take, 
if I can find it, where is it? All right, so I'm going to take my Ofra in Lotus Blossom. That's really cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. There's nothing left in this can. It's literally empty. So whatever's left in the little stringy part, that's all this. That's all that's in there. And then I'm gonna take my fan. And we're gonna spray, not spray Ariel. We're gonna let this dry down. I ain't even add the shimmer yet. Matter of fact, let's do that right now because the face is giving, the face is eating. I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place. This is the Culture Palette. And which one do I wanna use though? They have a shade called Till, and then they also have a shade called Ify, Ify. I don't know which one to use, y'all. I think I'm gonna use the darker one first, and then take the lighter one. So we're gonna use Tiff. Is it Tiff or Tiff? I think it's Tiff. Let me find a small brush. And, okay, take the darker shimmer shade and literally just tap it oh that's so freaking pretty oh my goodness I'm gonna take the lighter shimmer shade and just tap it right there so for the look I'm gonna keep it on the neutral side I don't want to do too much, so yeah. What lip liner do I want to use? So I'm going to take Morphe Trendsetter. I'm going to put this on first. the lip bar lip liner in the shade straight facts mocha is definitely my go-to lipstick because i don't know she just she just gets the job done okay I'm gonna take the um, Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette that we use for the transition color. And I'm gonna take the dark brown shade. I'm gonna take wood and warm and mix them together. And we're gonna put this on the lip liner portion. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Light Peach. I don't know if I was saying fair all along, y'all. It's Light Peach. So, what I put, the brightest concealer that I put under my eyes is actually called Light Peach. I don't know why I said fair, but yeah. Bit of this concealer right here. Boom. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some clear gloss and put it all over my lip. I'm actually gonna put it on the lip liner. I be so extra, y'all. Now I'm gonna take Salted Caramel from Airy Winkle and put this in the center. Just a little bit. And this is just gonna give a pink hue. Spray my face one more time. Okay, y'all, so I put green on. 
I got my green accessories, super cute, right? And the fragrance I'm gonna wear is my Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb. They sent me this in PR and I'm forever grateful. Like, your girl be getting PR now, y'all. Like, what? It's been a long time coming, but yeah. I think I'm gonna change my earrings, but I feel like pearls just go with everything. Y'all know I always wear pearls. Like, if you never noticed, Ariel is always gonna wear some pearls over any other earring, any other jewelry piece. We're about to spray this. Ooh, this smells so good, all over. I like to put it in my hair too. Oh, you're gonna smell me, okay. Mm -hmm. You're gonna smell me, period. So, I don't know if I wanna change my earrings though. I don't know. Should I, should I not? I think I'm gonna put a black jacket on with this as well. I don't know. I gotta see. Y'all, this hair is freaking eating. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, y'all, so this is the completed look. I am so freaking in love. Like, this is so elegant and classy, but it's still giving dramatics. And, like, ugh, I love how everything just ties together the hair, the makeup, the outfit. Like, let me cut my light on because let me turn this all the way up so y'all can really see. Like, this is so freaking pretty yeah this is giving like i love that for me 